So in this video, we're going to calculate all of the possible cuts for this network. Okay, so this is quite a simplistic network, but uh, that's fine. Um, obviously, the more uh, nodes you put on, um, the longer your list of cuts becomes. So I had to look at a pretty straightforward one in order to be able to write them all down. Okay, so we're going to work out the value of each of these cuts. So S with A, B, C, T. So that's going to cut there. So it's going to cut through 20 and 15. And so that would be 20 plus 15, so 35. Okay, so that's the flow going from the source set to the sink set. Okay, S, A and B, C, T. So it's going to cut through here. So you've got the 12 plus the 14 plus the 15. So 12 plus the 14 plus the 15 gets us 41. Right, SB, so that's going to cut through there. So we've got the 20 and the 6, so 26 for that one. SC, now that one's a little bit more difficult to visualise. It's going to be cutting round here, so I might actually draw that one on. Okay, so it's this cut here. Now, remember we are looking for uh, edges going from the source set to the sink set. So you've got S going to A and S going to B, so 20 plus the 15. Then BC isn't uh, going from the source to the sink, that's going from the sink to the source. That's going from the sink to the source. So the only one that we include is this C to T, which is the 8. So add on another 8. So 20 plus the 15 plus the 8 is 43. OK, so let's uh, get rid of that. Let's fix that. There we are. OK, so then we've got S, A, B. So it's those three, so down here. So we've got the 12, the 14, and the 6. So 12 plus 14 plus 6 is 32. SAC. Right, so that's cutting those, isn't it? So it's doing this. OK, so we've got the A to T and the... But not the A to the C, because that's going from the source to the source. So we've got the 12, that's the first one. Uh, we've got S to the B, so that's plus 15. Not B to C, not A to C, but C to T is included. So plus the 8, so 12, plus 15, plus 8, so 35. Okay, right. Let's bring this back. Like so. Right, then we've got SBC. So SBC, so along here. So that would include the 20. So we've got the 20 going from the S to the A. Not the 14, but it will include the 8. So 20 plus 8, so just 28 on that one. And then lastly, we've got S, A, B, C and T. So it's going to cut here. So we've got the 12 plus the 8, which is 20. OK, so the reason why we found the capacity of all of the possible cuts is because there is a theorem that tells us that actually the maximum flow through a network is equal to the minimum cut. So the minimum possible cut that can be made tells you what the maximum flow is. So actually, the maximum flow through this network is 20. OK, now, actually finding um, the uh, cut that does that, so sometimes you might get asked to find the cut that does that, can sometimes be quite challenging to find. However, 
Um, what is useful to know is that when you have that cut, um, the maximum possible flow through the network makes those edges saturated. So what that tells you is that this cut is the one that gives you the maximum flow. And that's also telling you that AT and CT have both got to be saturated. So they are both saturated, AT and CT. So sometimes you are asked to find uh, or um, find a flow through the network that has 20 as its capacity at its maximum flow. And that's telling you, oh, OK, well, that means I need to have those two at capacity. They've got to be saturated. So they're already locked in. OK. So then um, you may be able to work backwards in order to work out what the other uh, flows would need to be. OK. Can you find a flow that works through the system? So, uh, for example, you could have that as saturated at 6, and we would need that to be at 6, okay, because the flow in's got to equal the flow out. Um, if that's going in at 6, then we've got to have 2 going there, so that would have to be 2. And if that's 2 and that's 12, then this would have to be 14. So that now shows a possible flow through that network, okay? Uh, that gives you the maximum flow. And so that is how we can utilize the minimum cut maximum flow theorem or max flow min cut theorem.